Hello, everyone. So today, for my virtual manipulative, I am choosing the 10 frames. So to explain a little bit about what 10 frames are, 10 frames are used for counting. They make counting very simple. They make it simpler, I should say. We use them for composing and decomposing numbers. So it's a great tool as a visual for kids um, when counting in relation to numbers from five to 10. So they form a basis of understanding of place value. For instance, in the number 12, there is one 10 and two ones. All right, so now I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna go over to the 10 frame. And my equation for the student is this top equation four plus two equals six so that's my first equation for the student so i would say show me four on the 10 frame and hopefully they would do this one two three four sorry about my dogs they're playing so hopefully the student would show me four one, two, three, four. Then I would say, how many more do we need to get to six? What's my equation? My equation is four plus two equals six. So then I would add two yellows. Right. Then we already know the answer. The answer is six, but I would have the student count. So we would go one, two, three, four, five, six and then we would repeat the equation four plus two equals six all right and then i'm going to add another 10 frame because i thought of another cool idea <laughs> having the child um come up with their own equation so presenting them with this and telling them draw a line plus sign line equal line and having them come up with their own equation. So they might do something like this. Two plus three equals five. So they would write that in here. So what they would write would be two plus three equals five. And they would show me that on their 10 frame. So there are many different ways to use a 10 frame for elementary ed students. I think, let me stop sharing. I think that is a great tool to use. Um, and it helps children get an understanding in a better way using virtual, using manipulatives, right? Um, and like I said, mentioned before, it's all about giving them a sense of decoding or excuse me, um, decomposing and composing numbers. So like breaking apart the number 12, we know that it has one 10 and two ones, and that makes the number 12. All right, I hope you enjoyed my video today. Have a great day.